O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for it becometh well the just to be thankful. Praise the Lord with harp, sing praises unto him with a lute and instrument of ten strings. Sing unto the Lord a new song, sing praises lustily unto him with a good courage. For the word of the Lord is true, and all his works are faithful. He loveth righteousness and judgment, the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the hosts of them, but by the breath of his mouth. He gathereth the waters of the sea together, as it were upon an heap, and layeth up the deep as in a treasure house. Let all the earth fear the Lord, stand in awe of him, all ye that dwell in the world. For he spake, and it was done, he commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught, and maketh the devices of the people to be of none effect, and casteth out the counsels of princes. The counsel of the Lord shall endure forever, and the thoughts of his heart from generation to generation. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord Jehovah, and blessed are the folk that he hath chosen to him to be his inheritance. The Lord looked down from heaven and beheld all the children of men, from the habitation of his dwelling he considereth all them that dwell on the earth. He fashioneth all the hearts of them, and understandeth all their works. There is no king that can be saved by the multitude of an host, neither is any mighty man delivered by much strength. A horse is counted but a vain thing to save a man, neither shall he deliver any man by his great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, and upon them that put their trust in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death, and to feed them in the time of dearth. Our soul hath patiently tarried for the Lord, for he is our help and our shield. For our hearts shall rejoice in him, because we have hoped in his holy name. Let thy merciful kindness, O Lord, be upon us, like as we do put our trust in thee. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the 31st chapter of the book of Genesis, beginning at the first verse. Jacob heard the words of Laban's son, saying, Jacob hath taken away all that was our father's, and of that which was our father's hath he gotten all his glory. And Jacob beheld the countenance of Laban, and behold, it was not toward him as before. And the Lord said unto Jacob, Return into the land of thy fathers, and to thy kindred, and I will be with thee. And Jacob sent, and called Rachel and Leah to the field unto his flock, and said unto them, I see your father's countenance, that it is not toward me as before, but the God of my father hath been with me. And ye know that with all my power I have served your father. 
And your father hath deceived me and changed my wages ten times, but God suffered him not to hurt me. If he said thus, the speckled shall be thy wages, then all the cattle bear speckled. And if he said thus, the ringstrake shall be thy hire, then bear all the cattle ringstrake. Thus God hath taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me. And it came to pass at the time that the cattle conceived that I lifted up mine eyes and saw in a dream and beheld the rams which leaped upon the cattle were ringstraked, speckled, and grizzled. And the angel of God spake unto me in a dream, saying, Jacob, and I said, Here am I. And he said, Lift up now thine eyes and see all the rams which leap upon the cattle are ringstraked, speckled, and grizzled. For I have seen all that Laban doeth unto thee. I am the God of Bethel where thou anointest the pillar, and where thou vowedst a vow unto me. Now arise, get thee out from this land, and return unto the land of thy kindred. And Rachel and Leah answered and said unto him, Is there yet any portion or inheritance for us in our father's house? Are we not counted of him strangers? For he hath sold us, and hath quite devoured also our money. For all the riches which God hath taken from our father, that is ours and our children's. Now then, whatsoever God hath said unto thee, do. And Jacob rose up and set his sons and his wives upon camels, and he carried away all his cattle and all his goods which he had gotten, the cattle of his getting which he had gotten in Padanaram, for to go to Isaac his father in the land of Canaan. And Laban went to shear his sheep, and Rachel had stolen the images that were her father's. And Jacob stole away unawares to Laban the Syrian, and that he told him not that he fled. So he fled with all that he had, and he rose up and passed over the river, and set his face toward the Mount Gilead. And it was told Laban on the third day that Jacob was fled, and he took his brethren with him and pursued after him seven days' journey, and they overtook him in the Mount Gilead. And God gave, came to Laban the Syrian in a dream by night, and said unto him, Take heed that thou speak not to Jacob either good or bad. Here ends the first lesson. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath opened his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <coughs> the second lesson is written in the fourth chapter of the second epistle of St. Paul to Timothy, beginning at the ninth verse. Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me, for Damas hath forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica. Crescens to Galatia, Titus until Dalmatia, only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for ministry. And Tychicus I have sent to Ephesus. The cloak that I left at Troas with Carpus, when thou comest, bring with thee, and the books, but especially the parchments. Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works. Of whom be thou ware also, for he hath greatly withstood our words. At my first answer no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray God that it may not be laid to their charge. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might be fully known, and that all the Gentiles might hear, 
and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. The Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Salute Prisca and Aquila, and the household of Onesiphorus. Erastus abode at Corinth, but Trophimus have I left at Miletum sick. Do thy diligence to come before winter. Eubulus greeteth thee, and Pudens, and Linus, and Claudia, and all the brethren. The Lord Jesus Christ be with thy spirit. Grace be with you. Amen. Here ends the second lesson. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee, and you thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O Lord God, who seest that we put not our trust in anything that we do, mercifully grant that by thy power we may be defended against all adversity. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Confident that God hears us when we cry out to him in our need, we now place our petitions before him. Strengthen your church to stand firmly on her divine foundation in Christ. May the faith which we profess be shown in works of justice, care, and compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lead all people into the way of truth. When choice is demanded, grant true judgment, so that the world may grow closer to the way of salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Keep us constant in Christian love for all who come into our lives. Show us ways in which we can make our faith a clear sign to others. Protect our community from the foolishness that brings destruction. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Have mercy on all who have gone astray and chosen evil ways. Give greater assurance to those who are afraid or ashamed to confess their faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Receive into your kingdom the souls of those who have died. Redeemed by grace, may they be forgiven their sins, and may they rest in peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exules filie ve, a te suspiramus, gementes et plantes, in hoc lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos, at nos converte. Et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O plemens, O pia, O Virgo Maria. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, the giver of all good things, you have blessed this church with the protection of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Through her intercession, Hear the prayers of all who come to this place and surround them with your watchful care. We ask this through Christ our Lord.